I said it here. The right to self-determination is sacrosanct. Nobody should be forced to be in a union that they don't want a part of. Our problem now should be electing people who will make the necessary changes to our constitution that will allow these things to happen in a sensible way. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That's the biggest issue. So that it doesn't happen in chaos and people don't die. Let's test this thing. If IPOP believes that the majority of people from the South East want Biafra, let's find a proper mechanism for testing it. Let's do a referendum. People in Nigeria will campaign for unity. IPOP will campaign for Biafra and then allow people to vote. And whoever wins the vote should go. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, I bumped into this uh, lady's, this Kadiria Ahmed video. And she made sense. I bumped into her video. She made sense. She explained everything where they're wrong with Nigeria in less than four minutes. Everything. She explained something where we say they affect Nigeria in less than four minutes. She finished explaining. And I need you to hear this and judge by yourself if she did lie. Apart from uh, NMD Kano's case, any other thing we, we do for Nigeria? This explain it all. What in this lady go talk? Explain everything. Everything will be said wrong with Nigeria, Nigeria government, with the system. This thing, not the lady talker. Pictures online where there was like a whole picture of people with the Biafra flag. That when I took those pictures, I posted them on Twitter. I was live on Twitter talking to him. The interview I did with him is still online. People, it's one of my most watched interviews and I sat down with him and I asked him okay what is Biafra and his Biafra was not limited to the five eastern states he wanted Biafra in parts of Benue he wanted Biafra in parts of Kogi he wanted Biafra in Port Harcourt in River State in parts of Delta etc etc it's on the record my conversation with him is on the record Literally every person I spoke to for that special program that I did with Nandi that was from those places didn't want anything to do with Biafra. The point I'm making is that we sometimes allow the bigger groups to dominate conversations which can benefit from actually having multiplicity of voices joining them. Right? That, that, that's the point I'm making. Now, I do believe and I, and I don't know why Dr. Baba Ahmed spent so much time trying to explain in his statements that if people want to be after I give it to them, it is the right thing to say. I said it here. The right to self-determination is sacrosanct. Nobody should be forced to be in a union that they don't want a part of. Our problem now should be electing people who will make the necessary changes to our constitution that will allow these things to happen in a sensible way. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That's the biggest issue. So that it doesn't happen in chaos and people don't die. Let's test this thing. If IPOP believes that the majority of people from the South East want Biafra, let's find a proper mechanism for testing. Let's do a referendum. Yes. People in Nigeria will campaign for unity. IPOP will campaign for Biafra and then allow people to vote. And whoever wins the vote should go. We saw it recently in the UK. Brexit happened. The world did not collapse because uh, the British left the European Union. The point I'm making is that Sometimes by standing and holding on to things, we break them. You have to learn to hold things. The things you love, you must hold them lightly. You hold them too tightly, you break them. And that's what's happening with Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. You see, the day, I believe one thing, the day we begin to do things right, in Nigeria, that's when things will start working. The day that we made up her mind and we begin to do things right. Listen to this woman, listen to what Kadiria Ahmed said. 
she uh, you to drop your comments if she lied eh? she no lie now she no lie she no lie at all she no lie make her drop your comment she no lie the day where we say we start to do things the right way then nigeria go trust me success go day but if we continue to do things like this which i'm believing that in the years to come things will change the day where we say we start to do things right then things go change for this country things go change now because we know they do things right now and get us to where we are now and a lot of people's eyes don't open people eyes don't open people don't they see people they see now normal people will be saying they do their own thing they don't really care before now people they see people want different people don't want to live the way that they live again they want change they want to live a better life and why some people are clamoring looking forward to better life some people just want they, they are tired they just want to go but you can't let them go you cannot let them go this lady has said it all she has said it all and we always hope that in federal governments and our <laughs> this man here malami they, all these people they listen they start listening to nigeria and i'm seeing a trade with uh with the uh Bwari. <laughs> it looks like well, that man is tired of them anyways just the guy just leave them made them they commit their error they go anyway yeah drop your comment on what uh Kadewea Ahmed said because uh she 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 nailed it in less than four minutes she she explained what is wrong with this country called nigeria and what make nigeria fall because the country is down already and for it to rise, it will take the glory of God. It will take God Himself. Anyway, my name is David Israel, and I'm reporting live, live, live from Unif Studio. God bless you all. You do have a wonderful weekend. God bless you. God bless you. Man.